Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with sports. It's Thursday, so that means Puck Talk here on News 13. Today we're hanging with the dogs, specifically Colton Walter. Colton, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing good. Well, you know, first off, I've been at practice a couple times this week. I noticed you're sporting the half shield. So first off, a happy belated birthday. And second, I mean, is that wearing the halfie? Is that a little bit of swagger or is it, you know, does it really have some benefits? Uh, I think it has some benefits, you know, the bars are in your face and you can see a little bit better. You can breathe a little bit better, in my opinion, with it. Um, the only thing is just uh, you get hit in the face, you're pretty much done for. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to hit you in the face. You joined the dogs for last season's Robertson Cup title run. You had just finished your junior season playing at Lathrop. So what was that experience like for you, being such a young player and playing for a national title? I think that was uh, something I'll never forget, obviously. Um, it was a great experience. You know, they brought me in, and I felt part of the team right away. Playing, of course, in Fairbanks, your hometown, did that add a little bit more of a sense of pride, do you think? Uh, pride and a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of people uh, definitely have to watch me play, and it's just uh, a little bit of pressure, especially with the pops there. The pops are pretty hard on me, so had to do good for him. Now, I've seen your dad around rinks with, with your teams. How influential has he been on your, on your development as a hockey player? Uh, he's been very key in my development as a hockey player. He's pushed me every season I've had, always told me to do better, and whatever you get, double that, or just to do better and to push yourself. and. Hard work it comes with rewards. Now we're down in Soldotna last season. You guys are playing Kenai River. You're, 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 you know, you're carrying the, the bed up to the, up, <laughs> up to the room, and you're like, "Hey, I'm the super rook, you know." And you know, I got to do this all again next year. Do, do, you, do some of the veterans still consider you a rookie? Or, I mean, yeah, I have to. Uh, still a rookie. Got to write the letter to him at Christmas asking to become a veteran of the team. So hopefully the vets are a little bit easy on me because I've done some uh, harsh things towards the vets this year. Have you ever, like, you know, maybe a veteran who wasn't on the team last year is kind of chirping you, ever a little, chirping you up a little bit? You ever just be like, yeah, well, my name's on the Robertson Cup trophy, buddy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I haven't said that. No, that, that'll come with harsh punishment. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's something I might say in the future if I keep kidding it. Some things um, people may not know is that you don't wear a lot of the new style padding and the fancy shin guards and all that stuff. Do you consider yourself kind of a throwback player? Uh, I definitely like the old style gear a lot better. It's a little bit lighter. You can move better in it, and uh, it's just it just feels like you can move a lot better. It's not all bulky and overprotective. It's it's lighter mostly. Um, you wore 28 last season. You wore number nine this year. Is, is that the number you were given, or did you get to pick it? I got to pick that actually. Uh, came down from my dad, and he played for the Gold Kings. He he wore nine. He wore nine through his uh, career. So. You know, just might as well stick it in the Walter family and keep it going. Excellent. Um, you guys are in the midst of a five-game skid. What do you think needs to happen to break that against Kenai River this week? <sighs> We're going to need to uh, compete a lot better. We're going to have to win all of our one-on-one -on -one battles and expose their weak D that uh, we were told about. And um, basically, we have to compete a lot harder. Competing is the key to success right now. Uh, they're one of the toughest road teams in the league. Are you, are you guys up to the challenge? Yes, we are. We've been preparing pretty hard this week, and uh, I think we're ready for them. You know, we've, we're looking good. We're competing, and that's what we need to be at this point. All right, Colton. Well, I definitely want to thank you for coming down, man. It's been a Thanks. pleasure. It's and been a pleasure. Uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for now. We are getting out of here, but you need to stick around because Ashley Briggs, she has your extended seven-day weather forecast coming up next. So for Colton Walter, I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.